statement, SDS officer HN326, who used the cover name Doug Edwards, says he was chased and hit by a police officer whilst working undercover. To quote him directly, the police would see you with long hair and a beard, so you got clobbered. Let's not forget that the two fatalities during this period, namely Kevin Gately and Blair Peach, were both protesters who were killed by the police. Those whom I represent want change. And by change, I mean change for the better, not change that in fact strengthens the hand of the secret state. They want the inquiry to recommend that all police units and squads spying on those engaging in ordinary political and campaigning activity are immediately disbanded and outlawed, and that concrete steps are taken to ensure that such units and squads are not resurrected under a different guise in the future. Nothing less will do. What is frightening when one reads the disclosure recently provided by the inquiry about the early activities of the SDS is the fact that nobody in policing or in government seemed to have the slightest concern about the legality or the morality of what police spies were doing. There was no proper risk assessment or any risk assessment for that matter of whether the covert methods being used were in accordance with the law or necessary in a democratic society or in pursuit of a legitimate aim or proportionate or otherwise human rights compatible. There were no safeguards to guard against the risk of abuse of discretionary power.